Rise and Shine East Texas. You're watching KETK Today. And here is a look at Tyler right now with our Skyview camera brought to you by Flooring Liquidators. We're starting to see the glow of the sunrise out there this morning just before 615. Temperature right now is 73 degrees, so it's one of our cooler mornings that we've seen actually in quite some time here. Thanks to the clear skies and lower humidity values overnight, or should I say, should I say the lower dew points, uh, we've been able to see those temperatures drop a lot quicker uh, overnight. Winds out of the south at around 5 miles per hour right now, so winds have picked up a little bit over the past hour or so, but winds today will only only be between about calm and five miles per hour for our day on uh, Wednesday. Now, despite the cooler start to our day today, we're going to see lots of sunshine and the drier air and the drier grounds will allow, will allow those high temperatures to heat up more so than yesterday as we look and make look to make a run towards 100 degrees by your three o'clock hour. For many of us, this could be the first time we reach 100 for the first time since last summer. Heat index tops out around 106 as we head into this afternoon. Now that normal high temperature is 96 degrees, so climatologically speaking, we're still in the hottest part of the year here, and we are going to be living up to that. We're now going to see some of the hottest temperatures we've seen so far this summer right on schedule for us. 100 degrees for the high on Wednesday, 101 by the day on Thursday, and then as we head into the weekend we'll actually see a bit of a cool down as a weak frontal system is set to move on in and we'll also bring some lower humidity as well as we head into the weekend. So the weekend not going to be too bad. It won't be nearly as hot as what we're seeing over the next couple of days. But compared to last year, uh, we have seen much less 100 degree days. Tyler's only seen one so far this year compared to this time last year through August 6th. We saw 19 days with highs around or at or above 100 degrees. Longview and Lufkin have yet to seen uh, yet to see a 100 degree day this year compared to last year. Up to this point, we saw 13 100 degree days in Longview and 22 100 degree days out in Lufkin. So we are running well behind and even with the rest of August to go, I don't think we'll quite make it up to those last year numbers out there unless our September happens to be uh, insanely hot. But right now, uh, right we're looking to see those temperatures be pretty warm here over the next couple of days. Uh, nonetheless, with a high around 100 on Wednesday and Thursday up to 101, we're going to see that heat index up to 110 Thursday afternoon. So it does get a bit more humid out there, and that will lead to some higher heat index values. Thursday, the hottest day of the next seven, and then we'll be cooler for the weekend, but ever so slightly. It's still going to be warm, and then we'll make another run towards 100 degrees next week. For DP Texas, it is more of the same. Look for a mainly dry seven day forecast here with a heat index topping out around 112 degrees for our day on Thursday 